When you take on a role in a public school, your main goal is social working. That's what you do. You're a psychologist, a social worker. You provide for their social emotional needs mm-hmm. more so than you do for than you do educating because. Like that's not something that's taught, but that's something that I'm gonna that's teach. Needed. That is like a lot of yeah. kids I encounter them. They just walk up. Can I get a pass? Good morning. How you doing? Right. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Cause I'm gonna teach you. You gonna have respect. Yep. This is how you approach people. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hold you accountable. Yes, you players fuck up. Okay, you are gonna mm-hmm. get suspended. But how can we change this going forward? Like yeah. so, we gonna make your next move your best move. How are we gonna mm-hmm. make sure we don't do this in the future? Because that's what they need to learn. Mm-hmm. Like I teach my son that all the time, and he be like, "Well, why you ain't saying nothing to them? I'm saying something to you because you're the only person that you can control. And when you get out in the world, you can't say why you saying nothing to them. I'm not going with you, so I'm not gonna be there to fight all of your battles. You have to be accountable for your actions. And knowing that you're going to be accountable for them actions will keep you from creating, from doing a lot of things that you probably shouldn't do. That's deep. That was me. But you know what? Earlier you said you have to have a lot of patience. And when you have that patience, you learn. And I want to challenge that a little bit because there's times I do not have patience at all. I am very patient, but I, I told you I grew up very strict. My dad said I, 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 he didn't say he wasn't a saying a two and three times type of parent. I said it one time. You heard what I said. You understood what I said. So if you do what you want to do, there's consequences to doing what you want to do. And so with them, sometimes, like, I'm the kind of person, I grew up in the house, okay, you push the chair in when you get up. That's just what I know. You take your shoes off when you come in the house. There was always, there was a lot of rules. And so with these kids, sometimes I expect them to do the same thing. It's like, no, but just like you said, you're not just about to come up and ask me for something. Hello, good morning, you know, please and thank you. And so a lot of times with these kids, you mentioned Snoop Dogg, how it's like, okay, he's a crip and some people don't expect him to achieve whatever else or are so in awe because he achieved this and that. But the thing is, a lot of these kids, they don't see the light within themselves. They don't see the purpose or the value within themselves because of their experience. And so when you walk up to them, it's like, it's, it's that thing, it's that intuitive like, I see you. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes when you see a kid, even if you don't have the patience, sometimes it's not always just about the patience because sometimes I don't have patience. And they teach me a lot of times more than I'm showing or teaching them because they teach me how to have more patience. Mm-hmm. They teach me. I wasn't. I didn't grow up in a, oh, give me a hug type of household. Maybe when I was younger, but once I got up, not for real. So I was the kind of person, before I started working there, I've worked in daycares and just with all age groups of kids. I wasn't a big hugger. I'm that per- I was that person that's like, all right, like, tap tap like let's wrap this up here what are we doing but they've made me more of that person they'll if you allow it and sometimes when you don't allow it they will expand you but I feel like having people within schools and having that like I said that's how you build community and that's not just how you build community but that's a great opportunity to build community of working in schools because you build community within yourself you learn how to how to take care of people you learn how to be more nurturing you learn how to be that person that's that social worker that's you know I was in Mumford where the kids knew they can come in my room I had apples and oranges in there so if you're hungry I don't want to just give you I was like getting pop tarts before but I don't want you filling your stomach up with trash because most of them are eating and hot Cheetos and all that kind of stuff in the morning so they can come they know if they come to my room it's gonna smell good you also if you if you mess up they were on each other like we're gonna clean up this room because I'm not cleaning up your mess um you can come in there if you're hungry if girls if they're on their cycle they can come in there if you have a bruise you can come in there if you're not feeling good I can give you something and doctor you up but I feel like you learn those things regardless if you're patient or not because you're in that position and so there's a lot of times in schools there's people with degrees and certifications that's all great but I feel like more than anything you have to have the spirit for it and the anointing to be able to do it and so spirit says I don't want to just be throwing out words like anointing and God and things like that and make people feel like it's a it's a religious podcast because it's not but it's that intuitive thing that even animals have like okay there's something about your spirit there's mm-hmm. something about when you come around there's a kindred spirit there's a like mind there's a certain energy when I leave this room I feel better than when I came in so long story long and tangent right two or three whatever spirit away. is for you exactly 